Good morning. I'm Dale Willis with the Quail Ridge Church of Christ, and I was thinking. This morning I was thinking about problems. I know, we all have them. Paul says sometimes the problems are outside the church, and sometimes they're in the church. And I think when it's in the church is when it can be most discouraging. In James chapter 1, beginning with verse 2, he says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers' temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have a perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. You know, since the days of the Garden of Eden with the first man and woman, Satan has wanted you and I to give in. Just simply give in. We can see that in the Garden of Eden when Satan came along and, and told Adam and Eve in the day that they eat of that forbidden fruit, they shall not surely die, even though God said they would. And so they ate of the fruit. They gave in. We have occasions where folks haven't given in in the Bible. Job is a prime example of an individual that did not give in. Even though he was covered with boils from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet, he did not give in. God told Satan in the very beginning, Have you considered my servant Job? None like him. Satan said it's because of the hedge you've put around him. Remove that and he will turn on you. The Bible student knows that Job did not turn on God. Job did not lose his faith. As a matter of fact, at the end of chapter 1, Job said, Naked came I into this world, naked shall I depart. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and in all this Job sinned not, nor did he charge God foolishly. So giving in is not an option for the child of God. There's also the possibility or the temptation to simply give up. You see, the testing of our faith is going to produce endurance. The endurance is going to allow us to overcome whatever comes our way, even when that discouragement comes our way from other brothers and sisters in Christ. It's going to help us not to give up, not to throw our hands up and say, well, that's it. Nobody's trying to do what they are supposed to do. So there is the temptation to give up. What we need to understand is we need to be willing to give over. You see, when we give this over to God, Peter says, casting your cares on him, for he careth for you. When we truly believe that and we give it over to God, then and only then will we find out just how powerful our faith can be how we can endure, how, can we, how we can sustain. And finally, you and I as children of God must give it our all. James says, let endurance have its perfect result. We've got to be willing to give it our all. Because you see, God gave his all. Jesus gave his all. God gave his son and Jesus willingly went to the cross to die on it, to shed his blood for the remission of our sins. They gave their all. Are you willing to give your all for the cause of Christ? I'm Dale Willis with the Quail Ridge Church of Christ. And I was thinking...